Oh, so sorry about that. So. Food from afar, okay. Actually, you know what? Since, since I got the mission about food, I never checked this for myself, so I'm curious. Do we have a lot of the Inazuma recipes automatically unlocked? Because that's how it works for Monster and Leeway on day one of the release, which was day one of the Genshin Impact. You know what? I'm, I'm curious. Let's check. No, we don't. That's interesting. That means we actually have to buy the recipes from Inazuma and... Time to go broke again. Okay, no. I don't, I don't think. I don't. I'm hoping the rest. I'm hoping it's not that expensive. What yeah. Also, the, I could just hint towards a possibility of, of a possibility that traveler might have an Inazuma, have like Inazuma clothing as like an alternate skin. I don't know. That'd be cool to see though. It's one of those street side places. Looks cute and cozy. Welcome. Oh, Miss Kiminami. How do you do? Ah, oh, Miss Kamisato. Perfect timing. Your booking was for. Well, right now. I believe so. We'll be sticking to the order I placed in advance. As for the other matter we discussed, thank you for your help. Excellent. No problem. And everything you asked for is ready and waiting. Traveler, tiny customer, please wait here for a moment tiny while I customer. prepare your food. Go ahead and take a seat. There is something I need to take care of, but I'll be back momentarily. No, I won't take this for fun. Mm -mm. It's nothing of that sort. I just have a few minor things I need to attend to. I won't be long. You're left in a hurry. Whatever it is, it must be pretty urgent. So you two are Miss Kamisato's friends? <laughs> well, we serve all the classics. Sure, there are fancier looking places out there, but the food here speaks for itself. Hope you enjoy it. Over the years we've been in business, we've gotten to know the Kamisato clan quite well. Miss Kamisato and her brother are both fond of our food. They're always sending staff down here to order something and take it back to them. Her table booking surprised me. Not least because it was a group reservation. This is the first time I've ever heard of Miss Kamisato going out for dinner with friends. The first time ever? Oh, guess that makes us pretty important people, huh? Sure does. And I'm probably crossing the line here, but I'm just telling you what others have told me. Apparently, Miss Kamisato doesn't have a lot of friends. Ouch. How is that possible? She's so kind and polite to everyone. Paimon would have thought that would make her really popular. That's what I used to think too. But it turns out the rules of social interaction are a bit more complicated than that. Nobody in the neighborhood has a bad word to say about her. They all say she's beautiful, elegant, graceful. Not to mention that she belongs to one of the most illustrious clans in the land. In short, they see her as a model young lady. But that's just it. People look at her and they see a model of perfection. And they don't feel like that's something they can relate to. So the majority of kids from our ordinary families don't even try to talk to her. It'll feel, it'll feel so awkward see, they did. On paper, she sounds like a girl everyone would want to get to know. But in practice, she finds it difficult to make friends. Huh. Paima never would have guessed. We don't speak all that much, but we do go quite a way back. I've always admired her for taking on so many responsibilities at such a young age. So, it makes me really happy to see her here with friends today. Anyway, relax, enjoy your meal, and please, talk to her as much as possible. I know she'll appreciate it. Consider it a favor for the whole neighborhood. Look after her for us. Whoa. Sorry, traveler. Was that an explosion? Could you join me over there for a minute. Um, I need your help with something. I'm sorry. I didn't want to drag you away all of a sudden. I um, just had a cooking catastrophe. Oh, so that loud noise we heard came from the cooking pot. As you can see, this house is right next to the restaurant. It's where the owner lives. Actually, 
This whole compound is the family's private property. I asked Miss Kiminami to prepare some ingredients and utensils for me, so that I could cook a special dish here. Right! If there's something you want to eat, you could just order it from the menu. Actually, I wanted to cook something as a gift for Tsubaki. My mother mentioned in her notebook that Tsubaki enjoys food from all over the world. So I thought, if I'm going to meet Tsubaki, perhaps a dish from overseas would make a fitting gift. A dish from overseas? So anything from outside Inazuma counts, right? Sugar frost the slime does not oh, count, Paimon. We've got lots of options, don't we? Okay, this is just really cringy. That's what I was thinking. You must have picked up a lot of knowledge about different cultures on your travels. Hopefully, including regional cuisines. Can I leave you to finish this task then? Just as a personal favor. Is that okay? I'll be indebted to you. Great. But... What kind of overseas dish would make a suitable gift? It needs to survive a journey from the kitchen to the recipient's doorstep. Oh, Paimon knows! There's one dish out there that was practically created for this purpose! I said no sugar frost the slime! Okay. Pizza? It's an assortment of toppings and sauce spread over a bread base and cooked in the oven! And it's so good! Oh God, Paimon. That does sound pretty good. I mean, do we have the ingredients to make one? Okay, we do. Okay. Question is, do I want to? Question is, you know what? I'm actually, I'm actually gonna be going for the character exclusive one. First try. Damn it! <laughs> I thought I could do it. Eh, it's not that big of a deal. Is the pizza ready? There we go. It's ready. It smells delicious. You're an excellent cook, Traveler. <sighs> I would love to be able to master dishes from all over the world. Well, all you need to learn is a recipe. We can bring you some more recipes in the future if you like. Great. I look forward to learning from your culinary expertise. How are you all doing? Uh-oh. Whoa, is this... Miss Kamisato, this must be the dish you were talking about. Yes, an overseas dish cooked by the Traveler. Could I trouble you to package it for me? Sure, no problem. Oh, it smells good. I bet it tastes amazing. Oh, now I really want to put something like this on our menu. <laughs> want us to teach you how to make it? Oh, could you? The most satisfying meals are the ones you share with other people. So Paimon thinks that our friends in Mondstadt wouldn't mind us sharing this dish with Inazuma. Really? That's great. I've always wanted to learn how to cook some international dishes. If you can write down a recipe for me, I'll add it to our menu and put a promotion where everyone will see it. Since we've become a closed nation, people haven't had the chance to try anything new. Traveler, you're the best! Wow. I'll go pack up this dish for Miss Kamisato. Please, make your way back to the restaurant whenever you're ready. Yeah, it really the is that much order. That's kind of sad. You could have sold that recipe for a high price, but you selflessly gave it away for free. You're a wonderful person. Why sell a recipe? It's not that big of a deal, honestly. I mean it. I admire you a lot, and I'm so proud to be friends with someone of such fine character. Well, you should probably write down the recipe now, no? Yeah, let's make sure we include all the details and then give it to Miss Kiminami. So, pizza. Start with the basic ingredients. Who on earth thinks this is a good idea for pizza? It's not seek and a dumb and laugh in the melon. Plus, plus Masta never had these things. Correct. Especially on the flour. Right. Now to add the next couple of ingredients. I... What? Okay. Mm, yep, that's right. Now for the cooking instructions. Place onto oven rack at high heat and cook until golden brown. Alright, it's done! 
Long may our reputations and our recipes precede us wherever we go and even It's throughout. not that big of a deal, Paimon. I have no doubt that they will. This dish is exquisite. Cool. Then let's get this recipe to Miss Kininami Pronto. Paimon, it's not that big of a deal. It's just a recipe. I don't know why you're just... I don't know why you're... Putting on a pedestal or anything like that. Hey! Have you written out the recipe? Here it is. Thank you! Chloe! This is so exciting. I want to make it right away. Traveler, Paimon, please accept my sincerest apologies for delaying your meal. <laughs> no problem! Food always tastes better when you worked up an appetite. Alright, let's dig in before it gets cold. Sushi doesn't get cold, does it? Well, what do you think? Is Inazuman cuisine to your liking? It's amazing! Paimon loved this one! Oh, and especially that one over there! <laughs> Good. I'm relieved. Um, when I was attempting to cook earlier on, did you chat with the owner at all? And did she, uh, say anything about me? She did, but don't worry. She's just happy for you as all. She's... happy for me? Oh, then... she must have told you. Did she... um... What does it matter? I know just as well as anybody else that I've got no friends. Hey, it's not you. Most people just haven't had the chance to talk to you one-on-one -on -one before. Thank you for your comforting words, Paimon. It's all true, though. I just don't have very many friends. Most of the time I'm either accompanied by family or staff. So everyone must have found it quite a surprise to see me taking you out for a meal. I something, something tells me this is supposed to be a reference. Um, I, w I want you guys to guess what this might be a reference to. I'm gonna exactly. think it though. Exactly! You got at least two friends right here! Aww! Thank you! That makes me so happy! Ahem. Excuse me. I'm forgetting myself. Hey now! Expressing your feelings is the right thing to do. Keeping them locked away inside isn't gonna do you any good now, is it? I agree. So, I just want to say how happy I feel that you both see me as a true friend. Of course we do. That's always been our style. If someone's nice to us, we're nice to them too. Friendship can go a long way. Take your mom, for example. She wrote about Tsubaki in her notebook, and now it's made you want to find them too. Yes. I think friendship is an extremely precious thing. And ours is one that I will always treasure. Um, while we're on the topic though, who is this Tsubaki person anyway? Well, I think I have an idea, but it's just speculative at this point. I think that Tsubaki might be a fox envoy. What? A fox envoy? Yes, that's what I think. Even I, my mother's own daughter, had never even heard of this friend before. It just seems so... mysterious. So I think it must be someone with transcendent abilities who doesn't show themselves very often. And fox envoys are nothing new. Stories have been told about them in Inazuma since ancient times. You must have met Kuji Yae before. Well, she's a fox envoy. That got me thinking. Maybe there are fox envoys out there in Inazuma that people just don't know about. And maybe Tsubaki is one of them. Whoa! So Inazuma also has supernatural beings? Uh, when you say also... Well, before Inazuma, we spent some time in Liyue. They have lots of supernatural beings I mean, beings there, Asian cultures and everything, am I right? All kinds of them, too! Up in the sky, down below the ground, in the water... Really? I've come across such things being asserted in books. But to hear someone talk about it from first-hand experience is extremely surprising. So Liyue lives up to its reputation. Its culture has a long history and gives rise to the most beautiful legends. Quite captivating. 
You should come visit Leela with us sometime. The best part is, they have loads and loads of delicious delicacies. Really? I would love that. Speaking of delicacies, Traveler, Paimon, have you eaten your fill? Oh, Paimon has. Excellent. Then let's collect the kimono. Then we can pay a visit to my mother's mysterious and transcendent friend. Then... This will kind of explain why Aika doesn't have much, much friends, or any friends at all. She probably lived a very sheltered life long time ago, trying to own up to her, trying to own up to her responsibilities. <laughs> And maybe that's what- and talking to other people as nobility might be just awkward for the common people. You kind of- you kind of have to feel bad for Ayaka. Not just that, but she's forced to- she's forced to kind of speak formal- formally and out- outside because, well... That's just a woman with nobility. She can't- that's why she had- that's why she had to, like, watch what she says because, well... The only time she could just speak like a casual person and informally is... In her in her own place. Again, you gotta kind of feel bad for her. Like it's like she she does want to talk to people. She does want to be like a normal person, but she can't, cause she is a cause, cause she is the daughter cause she is the daughter. And like she like she she also leads the comic the comic client and to an extent the. Uh, Yasuo Hero Commission, so she's got love. She's, she's got love to that reputation, whether she likes it or not. Let's talk to Gormira. Your garment is ready, Miss Kamisato. I've folded and packaged it for you. Oh, and the other item we discussed—that's ready too. Thank you very much. No, thank you. It is a beautiful piece of clothing, and it was a pleasure to work on. See you again next time. Traveler, I have a gift for you. Whoa, looks super fancy. Is that for wearing in your hair? It's a hairpin in the style of a white heron. As well as a hair accessory, you can also use it as an ornament. I couldn't ask for your help and offer nothing at all in return. So this is my gift to you. I'm glad you like it. Speaking of white herons, that's what your title means, doesn't it? Shirasagi Himegimi. So this gift is like a little piece of yourself. It's just as elegant and beautiful as you are. <laughs> you flatter me, Paimon. If this gift reminds you of me, that is all I could ask for. <laughs> it definitely will. Alright, well, now we've got what we came for, we can set off! Time to go meet Tsubaki! <laughs> <laughs>